Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the step-by-step -step breakdown of how I made this animation project on Metaverse from beginning to the end. And also by the end of this video, I will also refer the tutorials and provide the links for the techniques that I have used in this animation project. So a few months ago, Mark Zuckerberg announced Meta to bring up a new way to socialize in Metaverse. So from then I was thinking about making an animation project on Metaverse and finally I got some time to think about it. So I started doing some research on Metaverse and then I picked my sketchbook and started doing some rough sketch to put all the ideas on paper. Once I had the basic idea of the scenes, I jumped into Illustrator and started with the illustration process. So in Adobe Illustrator, I started illustrating the main character. I started adding the basic shapes with black strokes and white fill. Once the basic structure is complete, I started adding colors. Once I am happy with the color theme, I started designing the other profiles of the character. So for this project, I need a back view and a front view. So to get the other profiles of the character, I reused the shape and distorted it and slightly changed the proportion as per the requirement. Once the main character illustration is complete, I moved on with the other characters. Then I started with illustration of the background frames. Here I have also reused the C illustration from one of my previous projects. And here I am with the illustrations that I would need for this animation project. Then I started separating the layers as per my requirement to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. So the animation starts with the main character appears on the sea beach, then from there jumps onto a hilly area, and then hang out with friends in a virtual environment, and then the scene zooms out into the real world where the character is wearing a VR set and enjoying all this experience one after the other. So this is the overall idea of this project. Now let's check out the After Effects workflow. In After Effects, I started with the C background animation. So I planned out the appearance in Y axis. First I brought in the railing into the scene with the position keyframe and then animated the other elements in Y axis as well to make them appear. And here I reused some of the background animation from the eye transition animation project. Then I animated the lips of each of the sides. So for that, I used pin tool to distort the leaf. So I added some pins and then converted the pins into bone layers and then added rotation keyframes in lobe expression. Then I started with the character rigging process. So to rig the character, here I used Twig Bezier plugin. For the face, I used Twig connectors. So I picked a 1D slider to rig the face of this character because here I only need to animate the face of this character in X axis. So I created three set of keyframes in X position property and then changed the shape path property of the face layer as per the requirement depending on the view. So I need one neutral pose, a right extreme and a left extreme pose. Then I linked the keyframed property with the slider and then I linked the other elements linked with the head with the slider again with the same process. So now this character's head is fully rigged to animate. So to animate the face, now I only need to move the slider controller in the direction I want it to move. Then to animate the body of the character, I only animated the rotation and the position property. So I parented head with neck, neck with body, then arm with the body and forearm with arm. And then I used the rotation property to bring the character in the scene and then offset the keyframes to add some follow through. To animate birds in the C scene, I used pin tool here again to distort the shape to animate it like a wing. So I added pins on each of the sides and then converted the pins into bone layers and then parented the layers and animated the rotation and the position property. After that offset the keyframes and here is how it looks. So then I moved on with C to mountain view transition. To make the C disappear, I again animated the elements on the Y axis. For the sun, I animated the sunset and then dropped the clouds to the sea level. And for the railings, I changed its perspective. So for that, I added some extra shapes and animated the position property. In this transition, I kept the birds and seawater reflection and the railings as a common element. Then in the mountain scene, I brought the elements in the scene by animating the position property and scaled up the elements in Y axis. 
and added a little bounce for trees and bushes. To animate the trees here I again used pin tool to distort the leaf. So I added some pins and then converted the pins into bone layers and then added rotation keyframes with loop expression. Then offset the keyframes to animate it like this. Then again animated the elements of this mountain scene in Y axis to make it disappear. Then the characters gets into the virtual world to hang out with friends. To bring the other three characters in the scene. First I scaled up the window in Y axis then brought in the character from inside the window using the alpha mat. So for the characters I parented the head with neck neck with body and then hands with forearm and forearm with arm and then arm with body and after that I animated the rotation property to bring it into the scene and then offset the keyframes to add some follow through. To animate the hair here I again used pin tool to distort the layer. So I added some pins then converted into bone layers and then added loop expression of rotation keyframes and then offset the keyframes to animate it like this. And after that I added some UI elements to get a feel of a virtual world. So I added pop up animation on these elements and for the line strokes I used trim path and used the end property under trim path to make it appear. Lastly, this zoom out transition. So to animate this zoom out, I haven't used camera. I have just scaled down the composition and animated the position property. So in the last frame, I again rigged the face of the character with tweak connectors like the similar process as earlier. But this time I picked a 2D slider so that I have an option to animate the face both in X and Y axis. Now after that, I parented all the elements with a null and then created three set of keyframes in X axis and Y axis position property. So I needed one neutral pose, a up and down pose and sideways pose. Then link the properties with the slider in both X and Y axis. After that link the other element that are linked with the head with this slider as well in the similar process. Now this character is fully ready to animate. So to animate the face of this character I only have to move the slider in the direction I want it to move and after that I reused some of the elements of the previous scene and used it here as well and changed some colors to add some variation. So these are the steps I followed throughout the project and this project is ready to render. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your projects. So if you want to learn how to rig face of a character with twig connectors then you can check out my other videos on character rigging where I explained it in full details. So I will be providing the link in the description or you can even check out the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Now if you want to learn how to animate waving tree in After Effects you can again check out the tutorial link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the full detailed tutorial. And also if you want to learn how to rig full body of a character in After Effects, you can again click on the i button to get the tutorial link and you can check out the detailed tutorial. Okay, so that is it for this video. If you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, then make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.